Hey there, it's Chris Acton with Acting Creative, and this is a handwoven experience, episode 112. And in this episode, I'm going to break down Bird's Eye 12. Now, what prompted all of this is that I set up my loom in a point twill threading. So I was like, what can I do with that? Now, if you are familiar with a point twill threading, no worries. After you watch this, back it up to episode 111 and I break it down step by step right there. But in a nutshell, a point twill threading is when you uh, use a sequence in your shaft that looks like a zigzag. So instead of doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like a straight draw, like I normally do, you go one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, like you're constantly kind of pinging back and forth. That's how you are threading your shafts in a point twill threading. So like I said, just check out uh, the previous episode if you have questions about that. But because I had my loom set up like that, I thought, well, let's explore some of the patterns that you can do once you have your loom dressed in that manner. So bird's eye twill. Let's talk about this. So uh, the basic components for a bird's eye twill are that the point twill threading, right? Uh, floating selvages, right? See my guys there? Uh, a floating selvage generally is a good idea with a twill just to make sure that your weft yarn is going all the way to the edges of your fabric. It's just a nice little kind of insurance policy. And the last component in creating a bird's eye twill is the treadling. Now, let's talk about this because I did a little research about bird's eye twill and whew, it's big. There are lots and lots of treadling options. And my friend Marguerite Porter Davison had a lot to say. So if you really want to kind of dive into some of the history and she's got lots of, lots to say on that. But what I discovered in general is that a bird's eye twill always has that real distinctive diagonal uh, uh, pattern to it. Uh, check out my close up right here so you can see it. And in many of the other ones, they talked about how there's also a dot in the middle to kind of create like the bird's eye. Uh, I know it's a stretch, but think about how many hundreds of years someone said, hey, we're going to call this pattern. It looks like a bird's eye. We're going to call it that. You know, we'll roll with it, right? So there's lots of options when it comes to treadling a bird's eye twill. So I settled on one that was uh, pretty straightforward, just a two, two, which means I always have two yarns up and two yarns down always. So while there's a whole world of bird's eye twill and please, if you like it, go exploring my friend, let me know all that you learned. I thought for today, I would just show you this one quick little sample of the version that I'm working on here on my loom. Are you ready? Okay. So like I said, I'm always going to have two shafts up and two shafts down. That is what a two, two is going to mean in this case. Okay. So I'm going to start with one and two. So I pull down my levers, shafts one and two lifted up. I'm going to throw my shuttle here and then I'm going to go two, three. That's next. And then three, four. You're seeing where this is going, right? And then four, one, and that becomes kind of the, the top of the pattern. Cause now we're going to go right back down. We're going to go three, four, uh -huh. you see it, right? You're getting the pattern, the idea. Then two, three. And lastly, back to one, two. And then you could just, Go right back up. I always think of those patterns as being kind of up and down because in my head, visually that makes sense, but you know what I mean, right? After one and two, you'll go two and three. You just kind of keep going. You just kind of wing back and forth between one and two and then one and four. Anyways, all that to say that it's a very simple repeat to create this really rich, interesting fabric full of diamonds and dots. Yeah, it's so much fun. So if you find yourself like me in a situation where your loom is dressed specifically with a point twill threading, ooh, dive right in my friends, give a bird's eye a try and see if, see if you like all that. Okay. I hope you have a great week and happy weaving.